Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for February 27th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Leo, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's get right into it. This is going to be a general reading for the month of March, okay? I'm going to try to do a general reading for the month of March today, and then next Tuesday I want to do a beginning, middle, end reading for the month of March as well. So we're going to see how that works out if I remember to do so, so... Let's see what we can see, see what spirit has for you today, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today, please, regarding the month of March. Show me the energy for Leo regarding the month of March, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see for Leo, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Um, so there's something, Leo, in the month of March that you are holding on to that is a burden to you, okay? It, this is something that I can see that you want to um, hold on. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this is something I can see that you want to stop holding on to or you want to let go of or move on from. Okay, but you are having a hard time doing so, okay? You are unable to change it at this time for whatever reason, okay? Some of you, it might be like a job, okay? A job or a living situation, I'm getting. But there is something here that you are holding on to that's a burden to you. It is something that you wanted at one point until after you got it, and it's like now you are unable to... You're wanting to let go of it, you're wanting to end or like let go of whatever it is, but you can't right now, okay? Or you can't for some reason at some point in the month of March, okay? You're unable to change it at this time. So clarify, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify. <laughs> if I can get my cards to be normal. Clarify, please. What is this talking about? Ten of Wands, Judgment, and the Death Reverse for Leo. Clarify this, please. Let me get one more. One, two, three. Oh my God. Let me get one more. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands reverse. Let me see something. Um, you could be moving on from something, or I don't know. Say that this is a job, Leo, just for you know, for for the sake of saying it. If this is a job, some of you might be quitting suddenly and moving on. Some of you might be, if this is like a living situation, some of you might be, just, some of you might just be getting up and moving, just going, okay, like, <laughs> without, without a second thought about it, okay, for some of you, Leo, um, something like this is going on, okay, I feel like something happens where you're just like, you know what, I'm done, I'm over it, I'm, I'm out of here, okay, but there is the, with the Six of Swords, Nine of Wands reversed, like you are, somebody's impulsively just getting up and going. It could be you or someone in your energy or something like this. Uh, what else, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else is this talking about for Leo? Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. King of Wands reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, and the High Priestess reversed. Okay. So um, what you're doing here whenever you do this, Leo, is you're getting unstuck from something in some kind of way, uh, being released from anything that has been holding you back, okay? Uh, but at the same time, someone doesn't know why you're doing it, okay? Um, they have no idea. They're confused as to why you're doing this. Uh, this person probably, whoever this is in your energy, Leo, they might not have a spiritual connection, okay? Some of you might be dealing with another fire sign, okay? Um, or you just have a strong urge to be awake. Clarify, let me get two more cards with the other deck to clarify this situation. You're either dealing with a fire sign or someone that's like trying to bully you or someone that like um, tries to control you or bully you in some kind of way and they don't understand why you're doing this. They hit magician, okay, and the magician came out. Um, 
you're manifesting what you want okay you are working through whatever this situation is leo and you are um um working through any obstacles that are being placed in your path let me do this over here okay let me ask holy spirit holy angels show me what i need to see for the person on leo's mind for the month of march please show me the cards that i need to see for the person on leo's mind for the month of march show me the cards that i need to see please show me the cards that i need to see for the person on leo's mind for the month of march let me get one more one more right now one more four one two three four okay So some kind of situation did not work out with someone, okay, um, Leo, because of someone being like emotionally unstable or emotionally manipulative in some kind of way, all right? Um, what else do I need to see about this? The person on Leo's mind for the month of March, please, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love connection, but for most of you it probably is with the Four of Wands reversed there. Show me the cards that I need to see clarifying this person on Leo's mind for the month of March, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Two of Swords. The Magician again. So, I feel like um, you're being, you might have been being guided, Leo, to move on from this person, and I feel like uh, you listen to your intuition, okay? Uh, with the magician, again, showing up twice in the upright position, um, I feel like this is you wanting to manifest something here, or you're wanting to be in a different place than where you are, and I feel like you might have been saying, Spirit, like, I want this, okay? And then this had to happen, this separation or this ending here had to happen for you, Leo, in order for you to manifest what you want. So I feel like you're not... You're not really too upset about it, but you might be a little stuck in your head or the other person is. They might be stuck in their head about it, figure, wondering if they made the right decision. Okay, clarify for the person on Leo's mind in the future. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so... Um, this person might have been juggling you with someone else. Like, you might have found out there was a third party involved. So that could have been why you moved on. But for others of you, um, I just feel like the person was not focused on this as much as you are. I feel like, especially with the Queen of Wands showing up here, probably as yourself, Leo. Wands represents fire. Leo, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like the Queen of Wands is looking at the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles is looking down, like at the, you know, look. Queen of Wands, I don't know if you guys can see because of the glare. Queen of Wands is looking at Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles is looking at that Pentacle. So, it's like you were focused on someone who was not quite as focused on you or the relationship as you were. I feel like you might have just ended up having to move on from this or might have to end up moving on from this, Leo, if you haven't already because you're starting to analyze that. And, and to really be able to be in the magician energy or magician power to manifest something from nothing and manifest what you want, it's just looking like you might have to let something or someone go for some of you, okay? What else do I need to see for the person on Leo's mind? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me the cards that I need to see, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. Justice and eight of swords in the reversal so this is something that is supposed to happen or just something that really needs to happen in order for you to get unstuck in some kind of way okay um it's pretty pretty point blank period uh the other person it doesn't look like they really want that necessarily okay but they also they have something else that they're focused on either money or another person anyways they're not focused oh, as much on this connection as you are so it's probably not exactly the kind of person that you want to be around anyway, probably. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, show me what I need to see for Leo. What is it that they do not see coming for the month of March, please? Show me the cards that I need to see. 
the magician again <laughs> again okay so so you guys are going to be manifesting something here leo you're going to be manifesting something from nothing type of energy if there are any obstacles that are placed in your path you're going to be um being able to get through whatever obstacles that there are it is you know that also states that you already have the resources that you need in order to work through whatever these obstacles are so there's no need to um like go out and try to get some kind of more resources to work through any obstacles you already have everything you need okay so that's another thing but you are you're you're getting through it you're manifesting over here okay what else so what else can you show me for what leo does not see coming in the month of march please holy spirit holy angels show me the cards that i need to see let me get one more four one two three four okay the moon and the king of pentacles okay so you're manifesting quietly as well, okay? And you're not manifesting just anything. You're manifesting either a partner, uh, someone that is worth marriage, like someone that is marriage material, or you're just manifesting being financial, financially secure or uh, stable in some kind of way. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're manifesting another person that's like a, um, like a someone that's husband or wife material type of energy, okay? And I feel like you're doing it quietly too. I feel like you're, I don't know, you're doing something. Some people, some people might be wondering how you're doing, how you're manifesting this. Okay. <laughs> some people might be wondering how you're doing it. Okay. But it's because you're focused on yourself. You're giving to yourself. You're not like, um, out just doing crazy things. Okay. You're focused on, it's like you have a set schedule, you do your thing and then you go home. Okay. Um, clarify, let me get. What else do I need to clarify for Leo, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? One, two, three, four. Okay. Knight of Pentacles reverse in the Hermit mode. Um, some of you also could just be not spending money at this time or not spending like excess money. You might be spending a lot of time at home or um, learning something new for some of you. Okay. You could be taking some time to learn something new, something beneficial for you to know. Um, what else do I need to see for Leo for what they do not see coming? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do I need to see? Some of you might be learning how to do manifestation. Let me get one more four. One, two, three, four. Okay. The sun reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. You have somebody that's not very happy about this. Uh, somebody's actually like <sighs> in despair. It could be this person over here uh, in the month of March that you move on from or you know, leave in the past to help yourself get unstuck here. Uh, it could be basically, you know, you like you have your eye on someone, they have their eye either on someone else or like on their money or something. It's like you take your energy back and start focusing on yourself. And now this person's looking at you for some of you. Okay, that's, that's going to be for some of you at least. All right. What else? Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Let me get two more cards clarifying. What does Leo... Um, what does Leo not see coming in the month of, in the month of March, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three of Cups reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed. So somebody's gonna be probably talking about you or saying things about you and your energy because they didn't want this to end or they don't want you to walk away from them. Okay. So they might be. I don't know. They might be. If you did move on from them, especially if you did move on, on from them, like completely, they're going to be saying something to like try to make you look bad or trying to say that you're not doing enough or say that you weren't doing enough in the connection here, Leo. But um, I feel like it's the person. I feel like they weren't doing enough in the connection and they're projecting onto you. Okay. <laughs> especially with that two of pentacles over there. Cause two of pentacles by itself represents juggling finances okay so. so let's see what big bubba mac has to say about this big bubba mac spirit guides god angels ancestors archangel michael show me the cards that i need to see for leo today please okay show me the cards that i need to see for leo today please holy spirit holy angels show me the cards for leo today Okay. Show me that Leo energy. One, two, three. We have happy. 
You guys could be happy or you have happiness coming in or something about being happy is significant here. Somebody could be happy with you or you're happy with someone. What else? One, two, three, four. We have shower. So think about shower. All right, you could get like a shower of happiness, okay? Something about your shower might be significant um, or something about someone trying to shower you with love or shower you with something to make you happy. What else? Cancer, you might be dealing with a cancer or you might have cancer somewhere in your chart or something about cancer is significant here. What else? We have hate. Okay, somebody could be hate and somebody could be really upset at you or mad at you because you're happy. Okay, maybe happy without them. Something about hate is significant here. You might hate someone or someone might hate you. Okay, Scorpio. You might be dealing with a Scorpio or you might have Scorpio somewhere in your chart or something about Scorpio is significant here. What else? We have interest. Someone could be interested in you or you could be interested in someone. You might be interested in a Cancer or a Scorpio or you might have a Cancer or a Scorpio interested in you, Leo. Or someone might owe you money or vice versa. Singer. You might be dealing with someone that's a singer or you might be a singer. Or something about you might like to sing in the car or shower or something about being a singer is significant here. Or somebody hates it when you sing or you hate it when someone sings. <laughs> Headband, you might hate it when I sing, okay? Uh, somebody might be stuck in their head about you. Um, you might be stuck in your head about someone. Some of you, some of you might wear headbands. Um, somebody's thinking about a Scorpio, though, or stuck in their head about a Scorpio that they are not happy about. Disgust, someone could be disgusted with you or you are disgusted with someone or something about disgust is significant here. Someone's so disgusted about how interested in you they are or something like that. Let me get two more. We have clear quartz. You might need to get some clear quartz if you don't have some already. Some of you might have some. It enhances mental clarity, aid in emotional stability used during manifestation. Increased focus helps clear the mind to see truths and situations or new perspective. Okay, one more. Let me get one more four there. One, two, three, four. Okay, Capricorn. You might be dealing with a Capricorn or you might have Capricorn somewhere in your chart. Something about Capricorn is significant here. You might need to get some kind of mental clarity about a, a Capricorn or, or you will be for some reason. Let's get a message from the Ancestors Oracle card. If this message is resonating with you so far, Leo, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you all so much for the people that actually take the time to like the video and subscribe. It really, really does help out the channel. You guys are amazing, okay? Ancestors, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Leo today, please. Okay. I'll take it, because only one fell out, so. We have air and breath, okay? Air and breath. Let's read it. All right. We come into the world with a breath and we exit the world with a breath. In between, it's estimated that someone who lives to be 80 years old has taken 672,768,000 breaths. The air we breathe remind us of the perpetual exchange of one type of air with another. Trees and other plants exhale the oxygen required by humans and other species to live while we humans and other beings exhale the carbon dioxide necessary for plants to live. This delicate balance allows multitudes of life forms to exist. This ancestor also reminds us of his presence when wind appears, whether it's a gentle breeze on a warm summer day that cools and caresses the skin or an unexpected and powerful gust that nearly knocks you over. The greater intensities of this movement can show up as powerful, hurricanes, or tornadoes, stark reminders of the extraordinary power of this ancestral being. That's what the card means. This is what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card. They're saying, no matter what circumstance you find yourself in, pay attention to your breathing. You tend to habitually have very shallow breaths, which restricts the flow of air in and out of your lungs and in turn causes your body to tense up. This can create a holding pattern with your muscles as if you're in survival mode, preparing for fight or flight. Whenever you become aware of this tension, pause, take a few slow, 
deep breaths and let your lungs and body absorb the oxygen, oxygen that the plant and tree people offer to you in this remarkable exchange. It is a time for you to be especially attentive to your breathing as it will be the simplest way to manage the stressful circumstances you find yourself in at present. Step out of your usual routines for a while and allow a deeper, slower breathing to bring you to full presence. Allow this ancestor to remind you, perhaps through a gentle breeze, to breathe deeply and slowly. Okay? So time to do some breath work, Leo. <laughs> all right, Leo, this is going to be the end of your reading today. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It really does help out the channel, okay? Uh, be sure to check out New Age Lifestyle Shop at the bottom of the description box below, and anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well, okay? Be sure to come back next Tuesday for another reading from myself, all right? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first.